Here we want to use the extreme maximum and minimum of a function in order to estimate the value of its double integral. So it's going to follow from this observation. So let's suppose that we have for all x and y in d, which again, that's some set of subset of R2, we know that f of xy is between little m and capital M. So we can get that by using the extreme value theorem for a multivariable function. Then we have the following. So if we take the double integral um, of all parts of this inequality, we still have an inequality, but the double integral of this minimum, so that's just um, m times the double integral of 1, but the double integral of 1 kind of obviously gives you the area of the region. So we have m times the area of the region, and then same thing up here, the double integral of capital M, we can bring the capital M out, and then we just get the area of the region again. So that means the double integral of our function is bound between m times the area of the region and capital M times the area of the region, where that's like our minimum and that's our maximum. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this example. We want to estimate the double integral over d of e to the minus x squared plus y squared squared dA. And so d is going to be a quarter circle of radius one half in the first quadrant. So that looks some, something like this. So we have uh, one half here, and then we have a one half zero here. Great. And now notice on this boundary, we know that x squared plus y squared equals one quarter, which means our function, if we call this the function f of x, y, um, is going to be equal to e to the minus 1 over 16 here because it's e to the e to the minus quarter squared so that's going to be e to the minus 16 so it's a constant right here okay great and then notice back here at the origin our function uh, is equal to e to the 0 which is 1 Good. So here we have e to the minus 16. Here we have e to the zero. And now notice, uh, as we go in this direction, this direction, and this direction, the function is just getting smaller. So now you can check this with uh, using the first derivative test and everything to do with the extreme value theorem, but I'm not going to do that. That's actually pretty easy to do in this case. Notice the partials with respect to x and y will only give you critical points um, along these axes, but then if you check along these axes, the only max or min is going to occur back here, and then if you check along the boundary, well, this function is a constant, which means everything is a critical point, which tells you, again, that the minimums can only the minimums and maximums can only occur on the boundary but it's pretty easy to see that there we have a maximum and there we have a minimum so when all is said and done we have that um, we have our function f of x y is bound between e to the minus 1 over 16 and e to the 0 which tells us that our double integral over d of e to the minus x squared plus y squared squared dA is going to bound, be bound between the area of this quarter circle, but we can go ahead and calculate that pretty easily. Notice it's going to be one quarter times the area of this circle, which is pi times one half squared. So again, that's the area of a circle of radius half, and then we've got only a quarter of a circle. So let's see, that's going to be pi over 8. Okay, so now that means it's bound above by pi over 8 times 1, and then it's bound below by pi over 8 times e to the minus 1 over 16. Okay, so there we have an estimation of this double integral. It's a good place to stop.